Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Patrick Kastner. I am an assistant professor in architecture, and I'm the founder of the director of the Sustainable Urban Systems Lab uh, here at the School of Architecture at Georgia Tech. Um, in order to uh, get across how I'm related to sustainability, I thought I'm going to take you back to a moment in time about 10 years ago when I uh, had just started my graduate studies at the Technical University of Munich. Um, and what was happening is I uh, used to work at a company at an engineering consultancy that worked on consulting with architects on developing and designing sustainable cities and neighborhoods. And so what happened at the time was that, uh, you know, I, I, I would work two days a week, let's say a Tuesday and a Friday, and I would come in on a Tuesday and I would, I would run these sustainability simulations and I would work for the day and I would let them run and hope for them to be done by Friday. And I would come back Friday and my manager would say, um, sorry to tell you, but the design team met last night and they changed everything. So everything that you've done uh, was obsolete. It, was, it just wasn't fast enough. And really, that brought me to a point where I thought I really need, need to fix this because it, it really seemed to me as if all these workflows and these simulations are way too slow. The softwares that the different communities use, they don't talk to each other, so they're not really streamlined. And we don't really have these platforms that I think we should have to collaborate together. Um, and so I set out to fix this, and I wanted to basically be at the intersection of engineering and architecture uh, between these two communities to, uh, to really work on this problem. So um, I, I went to the US, I started a PhD, and I um, thought I'm going to work on, on the, the problem that really takes the longest at the time. And that was typically related to whenever we wanted to understand wind flow in urban areas. Um, and wind flow, of course, relates to the urban microclimate, uh, but it might also relate to you know, energy and buildings. Of course, it's a system of systems, and so that relates to, to many questions that, that we might have about cities. Um, and so I'm, I'm happy at this point that um, I can announce that we uh, streamlined, some of, streamlined some of these workflows uh, and packaged and released them into a tool that uh, we call Eddy3D, which you can download for free. And it basically embeds, it implements these methods uh, of computational fluid dynamics. Um, uh, they're fairly easy to use, I would say. And, um, you know, uh, we have now attracted uh, almost 140,000 uh, people to download that tool. And it's used in teaching and practice uh, at many different institutions. Um, however, we still thought it, it's not quite enough. And so the last thing. Uh, or the, the last push that we made is uh, we tried to make these simulations really fast. So a, a slice that sort of color maps the velocity magnitude, uh, you know, in an urban area, traditionally this would take about maybe 8 to 10 to 12 hours to simulate. Hence um, my obsolete work uh, back, back then 10 years ago. And we, uh, now with the help of machine learning, were able to uh, bring this down to about 1.5 seconds. Um, so really um, producing real-time performance feedback for, for architects and designers that, uh, um, you know, or urban designers even, when they're dealing with these massing models, um, very helpful for them to have the immediate performance feedback. Um, now that we have this, um, it's actually really exciting because, of course, we also, there's also an educational component to our work, right? And so um, we believe that this finally hits on some of the points that people claim that are necessary to develop expertise and intuition. So we have this valid environment, you know, these simulations are very robust now, and uh, of course we can uh, make a lot of evaluations over time, you know, um, of course thousands of them if, if we wanted to. And so really this is a way for people to develop the expertise that might be needed in the intuition, what would make for a good... Uh, building or urban geometry with respect to microclimate or the urban heat island. Um, another thing for the more technical folks, of course, that we can do is now that we have all of these um, f fast responses, the fast performance feedback, we can actually use this for optimization, right? So um, based on these uh, different building geometries and the performance feedback, we can finally compute gradients and we can use machine learning algorithms to um, also work on um, optimization and actually have the computer uh, help us uh, come up with better designs. And then the last one, of course, um, would be that we use these for uh, you know, policy questions because these can now be scaled up and um, we can look at you know, a bigger scale and, and different kinds of questions so we could finally, hopefully, uh, in the future, address policy questions. And um, so, of course, we didn't want to leave it at the wind flow, so I'm, 
I'm, I'm very fortunate that I was uh, given the opportunity to start a vertically integrated project just last semester, and uh, I, I now have 13 students working with me all across, all across campus that are now looking into you know, energy in buildings on an urban scale. Uh, again, the microclimate, we have one team on that, and then two more teams looking into questions around uh, mobility and um, very exciting work happening there. In fact, a student of mine I just saw on the schedule, uh, she'll be presenting on Friday, 10, 15 a.m., and she'll present the work that they are doing um, on their sub-team. So I'm very excited about that. If you're curious, uh, I'd encourage you to, uh, to stop by. If you find this interesting and you're interested in collaborating on, on some of these questions, please come find me um, at the uh, Hinman Research Building again. My name is Patrick Kastner. Um, thanks for having me, and thank you for the generous support of the BBI Assist.